Hello world, welcome to CyberCrete. Today in this video, we are going to take a look what is basically a phishing page and how easy it is to basically do a phishing attack and what are all the advantages as well as some disadvantages of this attack. And this video is basically created for the educational purpose only so that you can basically know how this attack are done and you can basically protect yourself from this type of attacks as easy these attacks are to do and that much easy it is basically to catch them so we are going to see both the aspect but if you are not careful enough you will get hacked that is for sure so without any further ado let's just start this video so before going into doing the phishing attack and learning how to be protected first let's have a small look what a phishing page is so phishing as the name suggests is like what you do when you try to catch the fish you just throw the hook and the fish just catches the bat and then it is done for in the same way in phishing what it is done the hackers basically throws you a website that is very much similar to the real website so let's take the example of facebook so hackers basically is going to send you the website that is going to look like facebook so each and every aspect of the facebook will be similar in this website but it won't be the facebook so hacker will create this fake facebook page and he will send it to you and he will basically do some type of spamming or by any mean he will try you to log in using his page and once you are basically going to log in so let's say this was the page of real facebook and the hacker created the same page and then this page so this is real facebook and this is the hackers facebook so this is the hackers made facebook these are basically sent to you by let's say gmail so there are multiple ways of sending them but uh, the best way that uh, most of the people can do is by sending spoof mail so if you don't know how to create a spoof mail or you know very little about the spoof mail i have already created a video that you can basically watch and you can basically send a spoof mail and the mail will say something like hey this mail is basically from facebook and i uh, think that someone is trying to log in through your facebook account please uh, reset your password but the link that will be here will be of this hackers facebook this won't be of the real facebook and as soon as the user is basically going to click the link he is going to see the page that is going to look exactly as similar as facebook something like this and he is going to put his credentials like username password and he is going to click submit and as soon as he click the submit he is going to be automatically be logged in in his facebook page because most of the time people have their facebook logged in in their browser so he won't even notice that something fishier have happened but the hackers now have all the data that he have entered so the data that the users have entered are now sent to the hacker via mail or via anything that the hackers have basically made and this attack is so easy to do that even someone with very low knowledge of cyber security can basically do it but there is a catch whenever this person the hacker is going to create a facebook like page and going to send you the page it is always going to have different url so the url won't be like facebook.com it will be something like facebook.com or facebook.tk or any similar name that is looking like facebook so the first thing to protect against this attack is to always check the url that you are going to sign in with so whenever you are going to do sign in always make sure the url is correctly typed like google.com facebook.com and all the things like that so once that is done now let's start our attack so now once we understood everything now it's time to basically implement this so you can just find this link in my description section and this is basically one type of software you can say that is going to create a phishing page for you and it have pre-built templates for most of the popular websites out there and as soon as a user are going to click on this link and they are going to fill the credentials you will get their credentials on your own system so there are multiple type of scripts available on the internet and some works sometime and some does not work sometime so you need to learn how to google out this script so you can just type to search latest phishing attack tools github or latest phishing attack tools or latest phishing page creating tool so you have to keep on exploring the things and that is how you can basically grow as a hacker 
So the first thing that you have to do once you got this two website, you can use your Linux. It can be Kali Linux, Ubuntu or any Linux out there. It ha should have PHP installed or the server installed in your system that is by default installed in most of the Linux distribution. And then you just need to download this Git repository. I'm just going to do it in cloud cell, which is basically provided by Google where you can just use it as a Linux uh, or you can say that it is a CLI version of the Linux that Google basically provides you. So here we are going to do that. So here I am just, uh, I have already downloaded it. So let me just go back the directory and what you have to do, you have to just uh, write something like git clone and then just paste the link that you basically got something like this and once you are going to hit enter it is going to start the download but i'm not going to do this as i have already downloaded it and i think you won't find any problem downloading that file and then it's pretty much easy if you just follow the steps that are provided in this website you can just do it without even watching this video so you can just go to this directory just you can just simply or you can just simply copy paste all the things from here and just simply paste it here and it is going to do everything for you and once we are going to hit the enter button you can see that here is the option like this much site so approximately 32 websites you can create the phishing page with these tools and just in three lines of code and that is why this phishing attack is so much easy and so much dangerous because even someone with low IT background can perform it and let's say we want to create the clone of Instagram so I will just go with the option one and now here you are asked to choose a server. So this server is basically going to provide you the link, the fake phishing page link of the website. So I will just go with ngrock as it is more popular. And now here it is going to start our PHP server, then ngrock server. And then it is finally going to give us the link that we have been waiting for. So let's just wait for a while. So here you can already see that we got the link. So if the target, so you can basically send this link to your target, either this link or this link. So this is basically the shortened version of that and that is the actual link. So if the user is going to click here on the link, as you can see, as soon as he opened the browser, you are going to see this much of information about the user. Like just as soon as he clicked the URL, you are going to see his host name, IP name, country, area and location as well. And as soon as he is going to write the credentials out here, let's say he wrote his number like this and password like this. And as soon as he is going to click login, all the details will be sent back to you. And if you can see this page, this page looks almost similar to the Instagram page. So let me open the Instagram. I think it is going to look almost identical, if not completely the same to this fake phishing site. And that is why most of the people is, are going to get confused. So here is the fake Instagram page that we have created and here is the official one and almost like 99.9% .9 they are almost the same and once the user click the login here let's see what it is going to do as soon as it is uh, done logged in it automatically redirected you to this website to the official Instagram website so that user cannot even suspect but here you got the account username as well as the account password and it is automatically going to save it to your text directory. As you can see that this is how easy it is to create a phishing page and to fool someone. So whenever you are going to log into any of this website, always make sure to have a look at the URL first, just in order to be more and more secure. So this was it for this video and I hope that you have learned so much from this video and now you will be basically be secure about using this phishing attacks and you won't get hacked. So thanks for watching this video and I hope that you have enjoyed it and if you did so please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get uh, updates on the video on a regular basis. So thanks for watching.